Hi everyone, I'll be quickly installing Zubuntu on a separate disk without using a USB drive. Installing it on a separate disk is great if you want to keep things separate from Windows and avoid possible boot issues. Zubuntu is a Linux OS based on Ubuntu but uses XFCE for the desktop instead of GNOME. It's lightweight and generally for those that have older hardware and if you're coming from Windows you'll probably also feel more comfortable using it over GNOME. I'm going to go and download Zubuntu, going to zubuntu.org. And I'm going to download, and I'm going to download the LTS version, which is for long-term support. And I'm going to use the mirror download, and it's a little select your country. And there's two versions. There's the desktop version, and also as well as the minimal version. I'm going to download the desktop version. So I'm going to download the ISO. Once downloaded, go into your downloads folder, select the image, and I'm going to mount it. So hit enter or right click and mount. Open. And so it's mounted onto my G drive here, and here are all the contents. And now I'm going to go and open up Disk Management, Start Disk Management. All right, and we can see here I have Disk 0, Disk 1, and my virtual drive, the G drive, which has the Zubuntu ISO mounted. And so Disk 0 is 476 gigabytes, and it's my SSD drive, and it has my C drive, Windows. And then there's disk one, it's 223 gigabytes. It's my NVMe drive. It's a data drive for me. And so I'm gonna be putting Zubuntu onto my NVMe drive here. And I don't have to use the entire drive. I can just use some space on it. And so I have 141 gigabytes free on it. So there's more than enough free space. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new partition for Zubuntu ISO so I can boot from it. So we see here the G drive, I right click and I select properties. So it's about 4,200 megabytes. I'm gonna cancel, select my C drive, right click, shrink volume, shrink it by 4,200, shrink. There's my unallocated space. I'm gonna select it, new simple volume, next, next, next. And I'm going to select FAT32 and the volume label, I'm going to label it as ISO. Next and finish. All right, so it's been created. And now I'm going to copy everything from my G drive into the F drive. I'm going to select, copy everything, go into my F drive, paste. All right, it's completed. Going back into disk management. Your BIOS should be able to see this partition here and be able to boot from it. But if not, it may be because it needs to be seen as an EFI system partition instead of a basic data partition. And if so, you'll need to change it. So I'm gonna go and change it. I'm gonna open up command prompt as administrator. Yes, I'm gonna type in disk part. This my disk, and I select disk zero. This is my partitions, and it's partition number four, the 4200 megabyte partition. Select partition four, and I'm gonna type in help set ID, and I'm gonna scroll up, and I'm gonna look for the EFI system partition value in hex. I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna type in set ID equals, and then paste and then enter. All right, it has been successfully set and we see here disk management that it has been set as well. Now I'm gonna reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. In your BIOS, ensure that secure boot is disabled. And if you have fast boot, disable it as well. And now I'm gonna do a one-time boot into the installation partition. It's labeled as UFI OS. And how I can confirm that, go back into Windows, open up a command prompt as administrator, type in bcd edit space forward slash enum space firmware. And at the bottom, you can see that there's device partition F, the F drive that was created and the description UFI OS. So I'm going to select it. All right, it's booted the partition and we get the grab menu and there's try or install Zubuntu. Zubuntu safe graphics, boot from next volume, UFI firmware settings. 
So I'm going to go in and try or install Ubuntu. All right, the live environment has booted up. I'm going to install Ubuntu. And the welcome screen comes up. Select your language, next. Keyboard layout, next. I'm going to be using a wire connection, next. And I'll be doing interactive installation, next. And I ask here if you want to do a minimal install or a full featured install. I'm going to be doing the full featured, next. It's asking to install the recommended proprietary software. I'm going to do it. Next. How you want to install Zubuntu. I'll be selecting the default option, install Zubuntu alongside the Windows Boot Manager. Next. And here I'm going to be installing on my second drive, the NVMe drive here. And so this is my data drive, so it's going to be shrinking it to make room for Zubuntu. And so I can decide how much free space. So I'll do 50 gigabytes. And then next. And then fill in your name, computer name, username, and password. And then next. And select your time zone, next. And here you can see what it's going to be doing. So it's going to be installing Zubuntu. It's going to be doing it on my NVMe drive, the second drive. And then the Zubuntu full feature desktop. And then the partitions, it's going to be shrinking my partition, my D drive, 240 gigs to 189 gigabytes. So roughly about 50 gigabytes will be used for Zubuntu. It's going to be creating a new partition, FAT32 for the EFI boot files, and partition number three will be for slash for everything else. So everything will be on my separate drive here, on my NVMe drive, and then install. And then so it's going to install, and you can go to the bottom right, select the icon, and you can see everything that's going to do. And then you can select it again to get out of it. And then so this will take a little bit of time to install. All right, the installation has completed. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a terminal just to check my boot order. And I'm going to type in EFI boot manager. And so it shows the boot order, four, then zero, then three, then two, then one. So four is Ubuntu and it shows Ubuntu instead of Zubuntu because Ubuntu is based off of it. So as I'm dual booting, it should start up into it and I should see grub, which is the default bootloader. But to make sure, I'm going to restart and go back into the BIOS. So close and then restart. All right, so here's my boot order and boot option number one is Windows. Boot option number two is the UFI OS or the installation media partition. And boot option number three is Ubuntu. So even though I saw earlier that it should be booting into Ubuntu first, we see here that it's actually number three. So I got to change that and then save changes and exit. All right, Grub comes up and I have here Ubuntu and there's the Windows Boot Manager. So it's been properly detected, so that's good. And I'm going to go into Ubuntu, log in. All right, so Kubuntu comes up as expected. And now I'm going to restart to ensure I can get back into Windows. Select Windows. I'm going to log in. And now I'm going to go into Disk Management. And now I no longer need the Zubuntu installation partition here. So I'm going to delete this. And if I right click and the delete option is grayed out. So I'll have to do this in disk part. Start. And then disk part. Run as administrator. Yes, that's my disk, select disk zero, that's my partitions, and it's partition number four, select partition four, and delete partition override. And now it's deleted, and now I'm going to extend my C drive. Next, next, finish. All right, and that's it. So that's how you can install Zubuntu on a separate disk without using a USB drive. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.